Hey everybody, this is Joe with the auction barn. Got this um, utility handicap van that I'm going to take for a quick test drive. Um, it is a little bit uh, tough to start. Um, acts like the uh, fuel pump just isn't um, kicking in right off. As soon as it actually fired up, um, everything seems to be fine. But it, it took me a little while to get it actually going. Um, so we're going to drive it around the block, see how it go, how it runs. Driver's side window, passenger side window works. It does it. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the check engine light is on, and we've got uh, 108,269 miles on it. Let's see if the AC works. A little dusty. It seems to be running fine. I just, like I said, it, it um, just didn't want to. It didn't want to quite um, catch when we uh, tried to start it here. It has been sitting for a couple of weeks, but uh, Luke said every time he moved it, it would take a few times. He'd crank it, and it would fire a little bit, and then quit and uh, he'd wait, crank it, and it would kind of catch and start firing, and then it wouldn't, it wouldn't, and he'd have to do that a few times before it actually kicked in, and that's the same thing I ran into. Um, you know, I would turn the ignition and uh, run it, and it would, it would engage for a second, like it was getting ready to start, and then nothing. And uh, I finally put the jumper pack on it. The battery seemed to be fine, but I did put the jumper pack on it, and uh, that seemed to help. Gave it just a little bit extra boost to turn a little faster, um, and that that fired in pretty quick. So I'm just listening now. It might be missing just a little bit on one cylinder. Um, AC doesn't seem to be picking in just yet. They, uh, folks that brought this in I don't think they used it that much and so some of these issues that like the missing um, having a hard time starting some of those might just go away with some some good driving because um, I don't think they actually drove this much it had been sitting for quite a while you know get a little tune-up on it and actually drive it around burn out some carbon probably be do a lot of good for it So there you have it guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video now and uh, through the magic of uh, video editing, all of a sudden you'll see me doing a, uh, the test on the back door and uh, we'll show you how that works. So this is one of the issues that you got to be careful of. Um, the ramp has a tendency when it's been sitting for a while to to fall when you open the doors. So that's something that you want to get fixed. Apparently, once you once you put it up, it'll be okay like that for a little while. But then after it's sat for a few days, you open up the doors and the ramp, the hydraulics on the ramp will. We'll ease out. So go ahead and run it all the way down to the ground for me, Luke. A couple of pieces are. Oh, it's got a couple loose. Anyway. Okay.
Yeah, so that's what. Oh, that's is, what. This is supposed to. Uh, right. I think it needs to be hooked on. But anyway. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna see if it <coughs> fires up. First go. So it fired up right away just now. Uh, again, just a minute ago when I tried to start it to, after it been sitting for a while. It, it took a little while to get it going, but uh, seems to be working good now. All right, thanks guys.